skyline of Orlando seen here during a gorgeous sunset. Quite a backdrop for our broadcast tonight. Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. And a chance now to take a look at the schedule for the Chicago Bulls. On Saturday, the Atlanta Hawks come into town. That will tip off a homestand for them. Then on Monday, they'll be matching up against Eric Bledsoe and the Milwaukee Bucks. And guys, even though things have been rolling right along for them this last stretch, I could see them still getting a boost from coming home. They always say role players perform better in front of the home crowd. I would send it down to David Aldridge standing by for the sidelines. David? Well, Aaron Gordon is progressing as a shooter. He said, what I've done is connected my three, my pull-up, and my free throw. They're all the same shot now. I'm going to keep trusting my skill, and eventually it'll all come together. With my motor, I feel like whatever I'm doing out there, I can just keep going and going. Kevin? Tremendous athleticism. Thanks, D.A. Scouting reports, very detailed, Clark. Talk about the types of insights those scouting reports would reveal about your team and your opposition. Typically, player tendencies and team tendencies, how do they win? What areas are they really strong in? A team being excellent on the glass or tremendous in transition offense or very physical. I mean, just those types of nuggets that you would have for a team and then individual players so that you could try to position them to not be at their best by what you did to counteract them. Good explanation. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. Levine at the two with Porter at the three. Carter out there with D. And it's White in at point guard. One for the Magic. Gordon and Bamba, the combo inside. Fultz is out there with Evan Fournier, and it's Isaac in at the three slot. And the first of many to come. Explosive offensive talent on both sides. Boy, I tell you what, that's going to be like a pinball machine, the way that scoreboard's going to light up. Now, here's Isaac. Passes it to Fultz. Six to shoot. by Carter. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Now here's White. Outside, Porter. Back to White. And just about a minute into the first quarter from short range and that one is good from D. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. You really don't want to allow him to get too comfortable but even with stifling defense he's going to still find a way to get it in the basket. Here's Fournier after the made shot from D. Fires the three and Evan Fournier with the three. That's an outstanding move with the ball off the dribble by Fournier. And he makes the defense look really bad with the way he can maneuver with the ball. Right the pass to D. Banked in off the glass. D's got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now, here's Fultz. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Portland. It's Fournier on the wing, guarded by Levine, just four to shoot. Here's Fultz. No good that time. And the Bulls going the other way now. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. And, you know, the guys on the bench have great confidence in themselves. And when their name was called, they were ready to compete and contribute. Red hot so far. Four for four. Cooking with gas. Couldn't draw it up any better. Fournier for three, and again it's Orlando with the three. Fournier saying, you sink one on us, I'm coming right back at you. You know, as good as the Magic were defensively last year, they were just as challenged offensively. They struggled a bit at that end of the floor. Only 24th in the league in points. Now here's Levine. 
coming off a stellar performance against Detroit. And Bamba pulls it down. Well, you know what? All good things must come to an end, and they finally miss after making their first four. The shot's good from Fournier. And to be fair, Clark, the Magic offense has struggled for about a decade now. Yeah, it's been a while. I mean, you think about some of the outstanding players they've had in the past, the White Howard and Vince Carter. Their impact of that quality offensively just wasn't ever really replaced. And yes, it's good. And just running the offense, White's that new breed of combo guard who can do a little bit of everything. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Levine against Gordon. Back to Fournier. Got a hand on it. And here's White. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Fultz looking around. The pass to Isaac. Fournier for three. And again, it's the magic from deep. And Fournier has been an absolutely lights out long distance shooter every season he's been in the league. Bulls moving the ball around. D passes to Porter. Levine for three. And the Bulls another three. The real come at us. And we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Fournier. He's got 12 over Levine. And he overshot that one, missing. The Bulls leading by four. Down low. Stolen by Bamba. Stolen. Got it. Nice one there from Levine. Levine's got five now. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they time shot out, out. the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. Fresh from a win against Portland. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserve. Well, you know, you hear about the importance of having depth all the time bench players that contributed in last game their bench came a lot catching up on the changes for Orlando Al Farouk Aminu he's checked in for Gordon Terrence Ross comes in for Jonathan Isaac Michael Carter Williams checked in for Fournier and DJ Augustine subbed in for Fultz now here's Sadoransky Hutchison passes to Sadoransky to the paint pass to Valentine Just five to shoot. Shoots. That one, no good. And Orlando the other way now. Well, you know, he started his career with a stress fracture in his left tibia, which cost Mo Bamba some time in his rookie season. But overall, a pretty impressive start for the 2018 number six pick. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. Pass to Hutchison. He's covered by Aminu. Here's D. And Bamba pulls it down. Clark, you look at Bamba's play thus far. What to you stands out? Well, the first thing is he's a shot blocker supreme. I mean, he's a an elite shot blocker. I think he's got the potential to be a defensive player of the year in time. And also his shooting ability. This guy has a terrific touch for somebody as tall as he is. Sinks the triple. Ross has earned his reputation as a team first guy. Excellent at distributing the ball. Sadoransky against Augustine. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. Here's Augustine bringing it up now for the Orlando Magic. It's a three-point game. Passes it to Bamba. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, you, you talk about physical gifts for the game. Mo Bamba, a seven-footer with the longest wingspan, seven, nine and a half.
Jacob Baba able to touch the rim while still on the ground. And he gets off the ground pretty well, too. A good athlete still getting stronger and developing his feel for the game. But he has something you just can't teach. A lot of guys like to shoot off the dribble, but Clark, there are some that really are better at it shooting off that catch in the NBA. Yeah, and who do you have in mind, Kevin? I got a couple of names that I'm thinking about. What about you? Well, I'm thinking of Clay Thompson because yeah. that backcourt is so prolific, and he's been so great at that, and that's kind of been his trademark. Yeah, it has been. Um, Reddick would be another guy. Yes, another good one. I think that would um, come to mind, and even though he's later in his career now, but Kyle Korver, one of the very best we've had in the league at shooting off the catch. We've got Isaac, Aaron Gordon out there with Aminu, and there's Fultz, and it's Fournier in at the shooting guard. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, D in that last outing against the Pistons was superb on the floor. He grabbed 24 points and was his usual dominant self on the glass. When you look at the stat sheet, he was mind-blowing. It's hard to imagine he can follow it up tonight with that same level of production. Kevin, we'll see. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Yeah, you know, all indications are that he feels good coming into this. He feels confident that he can build on that prior success. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know, I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Outside Fournier. To end the run. The rebound by D. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Stolen by Gordon. Now Fultz. He has been a nice option for them offensively and he's averaging more than 17 points a game. And it's Gordon missing. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Fultz dishes to Gordon. Outside Fournier. The Magic need to get a shot off here. And it's blocked. White inside. He's guarded by Fournier. D. The second effort. They shoot again. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Chicago. Well, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. Muhammad Bamba, he's checked in for Al Farouk Aminu. And that one falls for Cook. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. And as we approach the new season, some new talent making the most of their opportunity in the league. Let's check out the race for Rookie of the Year. Some great young players. And you look at D. Well, he's shown he's a force as we move along in the meat of the season. He's sitting pretty at that number one spot now, and it's his race to lose. And this is just a special, special player. No question he should be favored for the Rookie of the Year award at this point. I did all of that. I mean, it's taken him only about half a season to show that he's going to be one of the faces of the NBA for a long time to come, barring injury. Now here's White, guarded by Fultz. Levine, wide open, bangs home the trifecta. Levine's got the lead up to nine now for the Bulls. And you talk about the best defensive head coaches in the league. Lee Clifford has to be on that short list. I would agree with you, partner. I mean, his teams play hard, they play smart, they play with discipline, and um, that usually is a reflection of the coach and a good one. Outside, Porter. White the pass to Carter. 
showing some nice ball movement here by Chicago. D defended by Gordon. Here's D. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Gordon with the defensive effort. Here's Isaac. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Now just a five-point Bulls lead. And for a near seven-footer, Isaac is remarkably agile. I mean, he's gazelle-like with his agility. Solid at knifing inside and does a good job driving to the goal. Carter left side. Outside, White. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. Here's T. Second chance effort. In deep, Carter drops it in. Carter's got 12 points in the game. And Kevin, they dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. Well, the hustle and the effort, the uh, persistence, all of that paying off in a big way. And that's something that makes a coach smile. Be somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Pulls up. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Clifford. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter. Up. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. We're seeing tremendous gameplay from D. As impressive as the block totals are from him early on, they don't even tell the whole story. He's changed countless others. Yeah, you know, he's been up in the air so often, he's been absolutely a pest on the defensive end. So for Chicago right now, White and Levine team up in the backcourt. Otto Porter Jr. out there with D. And it's Carter in at the five, roaming the paint. Boy, a terrific find. Levine plays mostly the two, but he came into the league as a point guard. Here's Fultz, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. The Bulls leading by five, and keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrin. Well, for Nick Vucevic, there were some great firsts last season. His son, Philip was born in December. And then, Dad made his first All-Star appearance. Nick is from a basketball family. He said, I'll enjoy telling my son the stories, like my dad did with me. We'll see if he likes the game of basketball. I think he will. Kevin? D.A., it's certainly in his genes. Thanks for that report. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. Mark, you were such a terrific athlete growing up, and it must be fun for you watching your kids and soon your grandkids go through their athletic journeys. It really is one of the great blessings and treats of my life to see our kids grow and develop as people, but also to enjoy different sports. Our boys played basketball and soccer, and our daughter played volleyball, all played in college at some level. And so it is great. Anytime you see your kids find their lane, enjoy running in it and do well in that lane it's uh, joy indescribable to the middle here's gordon it's deflected Ooh, this is turning into a slow start here in the second half seems like they left that offense in the locker room to the inside and it's levine that time on the assist from porter and it's an 11 point chicago lead the assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Fournier's shot is off. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. The feed now to Fultz. Got a piece of it. And that's evidence that Markinen is working on his defense, and it's critical that he does so. And blocks like this show he's making good strides. Here's D. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got his fifth rebound in this one. 
some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now, here's Bamba. Not a lot of room. Just five on the clock. Here's Fultz. Connects from three-point range. Fultz has got it back down to within single digits for the Magic. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And the number one pick in 2017, Markel Fultz out of Washington. Six foot four. Uh, Clark, you think he's more of a point guard or a two? Well, you know, I walk. seconds left in the third and the pass to Augustine inside here's Isaac terrific assist a nice finish solid play all around and Augustine has run the pick and roll countless times I mean he's very comfortable threading the needle in these sets the shots good from D in that tight with that much of an advantage height wise there's just not a lot the defense could do White against Augustine. Ross with a wide open look off the mark there with the three point shot. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. One second left. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's Chicago. Closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be back with you shortly. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. That's right. I mean, that's not his primary duty, but when the situation calls for it, he can do it and does it well. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. And so in the game for the Magic, the lengthy bigs inside Isaac and Bamba. Markel folds out there with DJ Augustine. And it's Ross in at the three, the small forward. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Clark, here's kind of an interesting uh, perspective question for you. How much of making it to the NBA is talent? How much of it is the work you put into it? Kevin, if I were to give this a ratio, I would probably say 65% talent, 35% work ethic, wow. because you have to have a level of unique giftedness to be an NBA player. Many can work really hard and not be NBA caliber. So I think there's, um, I, I tilt that 65-35 talent to work ethic. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Kicks to Augustine. And it's sent back by Carter. And they'll keep possession. Porter passes to D. Isaac with the steal. Here is Ross. Up top, Fultz. Floats one, and the layup is good. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. To the middle, here's D, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And a solid playmaker, White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. Augustine passes to Bamba. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. 
clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there, earned those free throws. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Fans are always trying to distract opposing players during free throws. Have you ever seen that work in, a, in, a, in an arena? No, I think it's just a nice workout for the fans, Kevin, quite <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I mean, if a guy misses, it's not because the fans have gone crazy behind the basket. It's because he shot it left or right or short or long. It's not because of the fans being on top of him, at least in my opinion. Right. Augustine with it. Bamba trying to break free. And here we go. Fast break. Levine's got it. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Fultz. Ross with it. Now guarded by Porter. Porter with the steal. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Bulls. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. Another part of their game that's made a difference tonight is all the second chance points they've been able to get. Here's Isaac. The basket good off the assist from Bolts. And Isaac takes no time getting his shot off. He's got a lethal quick release. And here's Levine who brings it up for Chicago. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. That'll be the first of four played at home for him. Pass to D. Boom, he jams it straight down. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. Come on, and a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Now here's Fultz, guarded by Levine. Fultz, no good. For Chicago, they've gotten it done so far from the field here in the fourth, going six for seven. D, and the Bulls tack on two more. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Here's Augustine. Rebound by the Bulls. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Porter in the corner. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Here's D. And it's sent back by Isaac. What a wingspan Isaac has. I mean, this guy is incredible at denying shots. And he loves to do it. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. It's good. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Now, here's Fultz. Pass to Ross. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Feasting on the leftovers. Eating big time. Ross stepping inside the arc and making it happen. Bean passes to Carter. Here's White. That one falls coming off Carter's feed. Carter's got his third assist on the night. The Magic have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. And Augustine kicks to Ross. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Levine. And here's White. Levine looking around. Fades and shoots. Kept alive. Another shot. And there's a sweet move to the rack on the lay-in from D. D's got 16 here in the second half. Well, Orlando shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Now Augustine. Pass to Fultz. Bamba kicks to Fultz. Lock at six. Back to Bamba. And the dunk by Bamba. Kevin, for a young player, I like the way Fultz sees the floor. He knows and feels when a guy is open. Levine against Augustine. Now here's Porter. Defense right on him. Levine against Augustine. Off target from three-point range. Magic have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth, four of nine. 
And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Bulls. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so the hard work and effort paying off tonight, putting another win in the books, that'll be win number 27. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. The stats tell us, Greg, that the winner of the first game is a big favorite to come out on top in the overall series. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for T. Boy, from a scoring standpoint, he was absolutely sensational. Made the game look easy tonight. Here's Ross. He's off on that one. Nice D from Porter. Smooth sailing for Chicago. And they can just let the clock run out here. Cannot argue with the W. D covered by Bamba. No good from D. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. I don't care what the match is, you never expect a road team the kind of win they did tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Hey, what's up? This is Kenny here, man. I just wanted to congratulate you first on a great win, but... You guys have been dominating, and specifically you, during this stretch. What's, what you got to do to keep this going? Keep it going, man. I just think we have to keep believing. You know, block out the distraction, block out the trolls. Don't start second-guessing ourselves. We have the best fans in the whole league, man. They got our backs 100%, and we don't want to let them down. All right, well, continue in much success, my brother. Gotcha. They seem to lose, like they're having a great time, and sure, some of that comes from the winning itself, but you've got to give credit to the coaching staff. They're